at least mm. yet. Yeah. How do you see now that with the European crisis and how do you see the role of Indonesia and you know, what kind of cooperation that we can do with Finland? Yeah, like I said, uh, we have been lucky in Finland because we have uh, a lot of economical relations outside Europe, so we are not that dependent on European crisis, and we have succeeded to balance it. Asia is uh, surely very, very important place now, and in the future even more important. Uh, Indonesia being the fourth biggest uh, country by population in the world is a major player, and uh, at least I would be very glad to see that the relations would be even <coughs> growing mm -hmm. from uh, what they are now. I know that uh, there is a lot of, uh, uh, specifically in forestry, a lot of uh, Finnish companies who are interested and already working in, in Indonesia. One of the aspects uh, I would like to see, uh, Finns are mm -hmm. eager to, well, find sun, <laughs> sunshine <laughs> every now and then. Yes, I hear you go to Thailand a lot. Uh, quite, a lo quite a lot. I, I, I have been one only three hours away. I know, but um, I, I think that uh, uh, it's not that easy. You should have uh, easier access to, to Indonesian uh, markets um, in tourism, and uh, that is surely for the uh, tourist companies to find out. Would there be, I mean, the Education in, in Finland, I think, would be an, an important um, uh, point where we can cooperate. H how easy is it for foreign students or Indonesians, say, for example, to come to Finland and enjoy its, uh, education? And is this something that can be developed in the years ahead? Some uh, kind of you know, exchange or opportunities for that education? might well be well be possible. We have uh, quite a lot of uh, foreign mm -hmm. students in universities specifically, but uh, maybe we are a bit remote for, for Indonesia so far, so we have to, to make more noise of ourselves and thank you for giving a possibility for Well, for example, for technology on, on the environment and so on and so oh, forth sure. would be very relevant uh, for you know, people to learn about in, yes. in Indonesia. Yes, they are well most welcome here. Uh, what we are doing with uh, our education model is trying to develop uh, uh, some kind of uh, model which could be possible to, to export. And we are trying it uh, actually in quite many places. I do not believe, mm -hmm. not in Indonesia yet, but for example in Emirates we have quite a lot of that kind of exports, if you call it that way, mm -hmm. teachers and, and um, uh, sheep, how they are, are building up class. Mm -hmm. As we can see, Finland is a country that is rich in timber with good forest management. It is ahead in technology and has an excellent education system. While President Ninisto seems modest about his country's achievements, and although in terms of distance Finland is far away from Indonesia, still there are many things the two countries can do together. The Indonesian ambassador to Finland, Elias Ginting, shares his thoughts on how to improve ties. And mereka belum begitu mengenal gitu. Apa sih Indonesia? Mereka tahu Indonesia secara umum. Uh, mereka tahu ada beberapa objek pariwisata di Indonesia yang bagus, tapi Indonesia secara utuh itu mereka belum melihat. Apa yang sekarang coba kita lakukan? Kita mulai masuk ke masyarakatnya. Kita memperkenalkan Indonesia di universitas-universitas. Mm -hmm. Indonesia baru itu apa sih? Indonesia baru adalah Indonesia yang sangat demokratis, yang pertumbuhan ekonominya sangat bagus. Di Indonesia adalah anggota G20. Indonesia adalah pemimpin di negara di negara-negara anggota ASEAN. Ini kita harus tunjukkan ke mereka, supaya mata mereka terbuka bahwa Indonesia itu bukan hanya tujuan wisata saja, tetapi bisa menjadi tujuan investasi, bisa menjadi uh, partner kerjasama ekonomi yang baik. Are you optimistic about Finland's future? 
I'm very optimistic about financial future, yes. Mm. How has it been for you after a year being a president of Finland? Is no, you enjoying well what you're doing? <laughs> it has been very interesting, actually. And, uh, well, these times are a bit demanding economically, and the world is changing, m maybe more rapidly than we have uh, expected. So mm -hmm. you have to live in time all the time. Mm -hmm. And how would you like to see Finland go, particularly after your presidency? What kind of legacy would you like to leave? The uh, most important thing is that uh, we have a peaceful surroundings. And uh, that is why our neighbors are very important, surely. But we, Finland, takes part to, to global activities, to the United Nations, surely and uh, from our part trying to give our impact on that uh, people would understand each other better okay yeah. well, thank you very much thank you so very much for having me and I mean, it's certainly a beautiful backdrop to our <laughs> conversation oh sure okay thank you very much and we look thank forward you. to seeing you in indonesia thank you thank you So what have I learned from my visit to Finland? Well, it's a country that places great value on equality and the welfare of a people. It's also a country that is so thoroughly modern, putting great emphasis on technology and high quality education, and yet at the same time still very much attached to nature and her tradition. It's also a place where I learned that in order to put up with extreme cold, the only thing you have to do is dress up warmly and that's all for this episode don't forget to join me next month when we meet another figure who makes a difference to our lives here on face to face with daisy anwar bringing you the world mm -hmm.